Our complacency, our indifference, our silence is allowing this to happen and a country that mistreats its own citizens, black American citizens, is a unhealthy, stupid, unhealthy country. Shout out to everything that's going on right now. All the racial injustices. Right here, man. We heard this. We figured we'd give this one a look. And then May 31st, Mike Zaw. I've been out the system since I was 13 years old, nigga, for that dumbass racial shit. It'll never be justice. May, I mean, that song of the week, that May 31st, man. Mike Zaw, man. But right now, you're tuned into me, 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 and we got to get, and, and listen, before we get into this, we will be giving out her number on this episode because she's looking for somebody, she's looking for a new bad boy. Don't hold your mm. breath. A bedroom, I'm talking about a, I'm talking about a backboard breaker. She's a bedroom, for... I'm talking about a mattress king uh, that just break, break uh, mattresses. She's looking for somebody new. She's back on the scene. Are you poor we... niggas in my DM because I said broke niggas have good dick? I didn't say I wanted any. She's looking for a, sp- a mattress spring breaker. No thanks, Bernard. This episode of A Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by and presented first of all it's presented by barstool sports but uh it's something special to me when uh, you know shout out to the sponsors man uh manscape.com one thing about manscape one thing that i love it keep me smooth it keep me fresh you know what i mean you got to take care of that area down there you got to make sure you clean all that 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 junk that be down there you clean it up you know you got to make it presentable you know it's just like when you're going out on a date or you're going somewhere you're smelling good you're looking good so you got to make sure that area down there is cleaned up and one thing about the lawnmower I love the lawnmower. You know why? You got the LED lights, and you can see when you're cleaning your stuff up and all that stuff. You you, sh- you shaving down there. It don't nip because I remember back in the day when I used to shave. I'd be in the shower, singing and all that, and I cut myself. Luckily, I'd be when I cut myself, the blood to be able to run down into the zooey holes or whatever. Whoa. What's that in the shower with the thing? You know how you cut ah? And you nip yourself, and then when you grow back, it'd be like hair bumps sometimes. Too much. And you got no. I'm just being straight up about it. I I'm see. just saying that's why Manscaped changed my life. What you mean to to the to the tub faucet? You said the sewer. The I mean the, uh, the, 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 the hole right there. You know the hole. You know, you know the jail. hole right there because they used to be nick me. The, the racist ah he used to nick me you, uh, you probably had a you probably had a dr j african <laughs> bambada bush when you got the fuck out of jail huh nah, but that's another story you asked for too much information you're trying to get too personal that, that's why you person. got that's why you got why the, you get personal with I'm, my saying, person. I'm saying that's why you had that's why you had to get the manscape listen, i got manscaping it, to change my life he man. bought listen, me one huh, cause you one thing about the manscape is this listen <laughs> listen what i need you to do is for limited time right subscribers get a free gift right I mean, I'm talking about, listen, you get a free gift. The shared travel bag, right? It's valued at uh, $39, but you'll get it for free, man. And for all females listening, <laughs> you'll appreciate this part. Manscaped, you know what I mean? Products are, listen, cruelty-free, right? They're cruelty-free, right? 
and they vegan. But the thing about this, they got all type of products for your whole hookup and all that. That's another story. But I will say this, Manscaped really changed my life. And uh, if you want to get down with Manscaped and uh, you want to do something for your man in your life, ladies, if you're listening, I would advise you get a Manscaped, that lawnmower. Lawnmower will change their life and it'll change your life when you're down there doing whatever you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing something. But that's another story. What I need you to do to get 20% off, I need you to go to manscaped.com. And I want you to uh, code, the, the, the code is million, not millions, million. And you'll get 20% off and free shipping with the code million. Mm. I'm talking about that's free shipping and 20% off manscaped.com, code million. And mm. it's just like that. All Let's right. talk about reparation. Oh, you know you know what's funny? That's that's my thing, man. Uh, shout out what to, you wanted to talk Shout out to Bob Johnson, <laughs> man, uh, of, you know, who uh, started PET. One of the first black billionaires BET? out here. Yeah, BET, Bob Johnson. Oh, BET. I mean, that's what you, you know, and, and what's so great about it, I got a chance to meet Bob. Uh, I had a couple words with him. I was on a, uh, the elevator with him. I was staying at the Rich Carlton in Chicago All-Star Weekend. He came on the elevator. I was starstruck. I couldn't believe it. He, you know, BJ was on there, Bob Johnson. And uh, we got to talking, and it just, it was deep. But uh, that's another story. But uh, he's asking for reparation. And I'm talking about, uh, we're talking about $14 trillion. Uh, we're talking about giving three hundred and fifty thousand dollars plus, you know what I mean, to the forty-two million African American eligible descendants of slaves. Long and, overdue. Uh, and, and what I'm gonna say is about this: if this thing jump off, some shit gonna jump off. And I'm saying it to say this: uh, black folks, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars just came to you. What you doing with it? You know what I mean? Like, it's re- I think the turn up, do you think shit gonna go down? Is crime gonna go down? Like, what you I, think? Oh, yeah, I think crime gonna go down because niggas ain't gonna be broke. And then niggas, the, and the car dealerships is going to shit. Oh, oh, oh. Car Queen dealerships. Queen of the what are you doing? What are you, if you got 350, what are you doing? Some real shit. If they get you 350, you gotta check that hit. Wham! What you doing? 350 right now. Don't lie. All right, yeah. I, I'm gonna answer this. She might, in case of black and miles, that's first. All right, what's after that? <laughs> Well, d- being that they're long over fucking due, okay, and we deserve it, I'm going to fuck off a lot of it. Let's just be What honest. you mean, fuck off? What's that, What's that going on with you? Plastic surgery, jewelry, mm. um, shit, I don't know. I might walk in this bitch with a fur on, just new titties with the fur, just boom. I want you to be proud doing? of me. You ain't getting no businesses? Like, of course I am. I'm just being honest. What type of businesses you get? I want to invest, so I want to flip my money, right? And then once I flip it, I want to give a lot back. Like, I want to put some affordable housing so in and fill it up here. you get 350K. First you're doing thing, a you're whole doing lot with 350K. And, 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 and a couple pounds allowed. A couple pounds allowed. <laughs> Hold the fuck I up. would love to have my own strain. Wouldn't that be cool, me on there? You got 350, like, you're doing a whole lot. Yeah, you, you got 350, you can open up all types of businesses. You can get real estate, and all you thinking about is buying an ass, titties some and titties, and fur, and a couple pounds of lamb. Listen, fellas, this is old to me, okay? My grandma could have been a wet nurse. Google that. We had a rough fucking ride, and everybody got their reparations but us. They paid the Japanese. They paid the Jews. Where's our fucking money? This is a great topic. I'm gonna fuck off a lot of it. I'm gonna invest some of it, and I'm definitely putting some in our communities. I think we should all make like, like a silent gonna, black people like agreement out of to what you gonna put, put it, some back I'm in our own communities. I'm just trying to figure out what you put into the community with 350. Well, I mean, I would like to like do, put, do some type of thing with affordable housing because it got all those abandoned homes, like especially a place like Baltimore, Philadelphia, there's abandoned homes everywhere. We can put some some work into them homes, get some affordable affordable housing for some mothers or maybe some drug addicted people that are sober now. And I also would like to start a school similar to LeBron, shout out to LeBron. I thought that was really admirable what he did. He built the whole school for people. I think a lot of pussy gonna get bought. Top five things gonna get bought. They dropped that three. But how you gonna buy some cars? Pu- how you gonna buy some pussy? And everybody got money now, so it's like I don't think you had to buy nothing. Uh, pussy no, some, gonna be for sale, baby. Pussy always for sale. Fuck pussy you talking for about. sale, baby. Niggas is gonna be spending outrageous numbers. Bitch, I got yes. twenty thousand. All right, what's the most you think a dude like like the average dude out of ten dudes? What's the most that they gonna spend? Like, what's the budget they gonna have on pussy? Oh no! If a nigga get three fifty, how much he spending? A nigga got a hundred thousand for some pussy. No, for sure, no, for, sure. No. for sure, and I'm here for it. That's too much. Don't let because, people shame you and not tricking. Let me just tricking. tell you something. Let me just tell you something. It's not. 
it's not a hundred thousand dollars. He just paying for the pussy. He gonna lease the bitch. Yeah. He, he got money, so he buying the bitch the biggest but Birkin she got money bag too. and titties. It don't matter. That's that. Listen, that's what even make you. That's what make a nigga a nigga know he ain't got to spend no money on a broke bitch. Right. <laughs> bitch, you busted and disgusted. Why would the fuck make me the special nigga that got to spend money on your bitch? But when he know a chick already up. Okay, prime example. When you go, when you go get April a birthday gift, you ain't getting no cheap shit. You can't. I ain't gonna front. I did. I did go down Lehigh. Went Lehigh Ave and uh, the you fuck mean, out. You remember when I got two that them bear fake, and that plastic? The, the, the fake uh, Chanel bags. You remember yeah. I bought two D for a birthday? Yeah. I actually slid one of them in a closet one time. Yeah. I, I slid it between the other joints. Said, "Baby, you got a gift up there." She like, <laughs> she's like, "Oh my god." She's like, nigga, you better stop. <laughs> but I, I forgot a little of the plastic was in the Because you know, the fake bags, the plastic could be in the wrong spot. I don't know, because I never bought no real bags. Right before. for April. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you and bought a real two. bag, nigga. Oh, yeah, I bought a real I'm talking about before. Oh. You know what I mean? But I definitely. Uh, I was you was on Rodale Drive with me. He was on Rodale Drive with me. And the nigga was in there. Flex. Talk. And Big the nigga flex. was in there. I like and that while I Let me tell you what, Wait, let me tell you what this type of bitch ass nigga he is. They got the bag there. He like, I'm going to get her name on the bag. Can y'all do that today? They like, fuck no, we yeah. can't do that <laughs> like, today. What? They like, no, we got to. Because I don't buy, I didn't they know. Gotta, we got to send it out and then we can ship it to you. He like, so I can't leave with the bag today? Bitch, how you going to leave with the bag if you trying to get a name on it and they just told you? Because what you think I should do? Yeah, he was in there with me. That was so sweet, Wallow. Yeah. Odell Drive. Yeah, he's sweet. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's definitely sweet. Yeah, but see, so, so what's, all right, the top five things that people going to buy with that 350 pussy cars is number one you think car oh niggas you think cars, you think cars come before pussy that's the first a car, a car you is gotta a get the car to get the pussy necessity yeah you gotta get the car to so get the cars pussy. is coming first <laughs> whip pussy's Jewelry. high up there that got number two number Jewelry. two balenciagas he hates the big jones the big oh i hate them big he ass hates stupid the sneaks. Big dad sneaks the niggas is buying balenciagas and niggas is buying I'm, niggas gonna try to invest a couple dollars Buy pounds allowed. F, F, no, F, one of the major things that you ain't got on that list. What? Is shit dealing with the rap game and studio. Oh, oh no, 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 studio. no. Niggas ain't that smart. They, they not going to invest in themselves. They, they, exactly. they come into the studio. They not. They not They come in to hang with the money in the jury. They come into the studio to hang. Believe that they gonna come spend it at HDE Luxury Studios. Yeah, that's where we at right track. now, man. That's if where you we have, at right now. You're in Philadelphia. You need a studio. Come through HDE Luxury Studios. Give studios. Give with my man, aka Pop Nasty, aka Birthday Suit Pop. But that's another story. Vibe unmatched. Back, back to what I'm saying is this. I just want to ask one question. You sitting here telling me that nobody, like nobody, is gonna get this money and become a D boy. Oh turn, yeah! Oh no, 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 no! The yeah, D boy yeah, dream. Yeah. Oh, I want to grab some. Be a D- and some niggas gonna go down with the kingpin charge. They are gonna take all three fifty. I took all my money and bought work. Put it all in the street. I bought work. Niggas going to jail next week. No bail money. Damn. No prelim money. That's crazy. It's definitely gonna be a bunch of fake ass D boys out here. But let's get into our second sponsor, Isotope. Let me tell you about Isotope. Right. This is like. This app is like you would have had this shit back in the day. You'd have been crazy. Oh, I'd have been. If you would have had that app, if back I would have had Isotope back in the day. What is it? It's, it's a studio. It's, it's like basically an app that's like a studio that you can do pretty much everything you can do in a studio, you can do on this app right here. Right here. Like, prime example, right? You can upload a beat from a producer, mm-hmm. start layering your vocals in seconds for up to eight tracks. So you got eight tracks Damn. that you could get busy on, right? In second, sound check will set your levels, identify your voice or instrument and sculpt your tone based to what's detected to sound great in a mix. Mm. So basically this shit is just working for you. Mm. Like Isotope is just working for you. You don't, they, they must got preset levels in there that just adjust when you doing things. You feel what I'm saying? You can write lyrics and song notes and inspire projects. So you no longer need to jump to another app for lyrics, throw off your workload while tracking vocals. So you could you could do everything right here in the app. You ain't gotta uh so I'm 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 recording vocals, but I gotta switch over to to another app to see what I said and no no no. Everything is right here. You can send projects to anyone via the cloud to be to preview the song, download individual tracks that a producer can use in DAW, download mixdowns 
or open projects inspired for collaborations. You could share the, your finished song, the SoundCloud. You could you can make a video with your own cover art for, for Instagram, Twitter. Isotope is the shit to all the up and coming people who. You would have killed that shit back in the day. Oh all the mixtapes you you'd have had more. Well, output. Let me just say something. Spire is free. There's a free app available on iOS app for the iPhone and iPad, or search for Spire on the App Store, or visit isotope.com backslash game. That's isotope.com yeah. backslash game. Yeah, I would have took that shit to a whole different level. a lot of you I would have took that shit to a whole different level. level. Lead that shit hey, hold on, on man. That. Let me just talk about this before we go any further, man. I, I see Akon. You know, he's remaking Locked Up. And that was a classic in jail. Bullshit. That was one of our favorite songs in jail because we finally had a song when I was in prison for that spoke of a nigga, dudes that was locked up. That and 21 Questions. Yes. That was like the song, like, damn, we feel that. Like I'm locked. Because you locked up and you listen right. to the song. 21 like, Questions with 50? Yeah, that was the shit too. Because you asking the chick, like, would she be down? Right. All that stuff. That, so it was like, yeah, you know, you writing it down, baby. You know, you right. heard that song. But my, my whole thing, right, is... How you gonna come into the game when I'm locked up? They won't let me out. They probably wouldn't let you out because the nigga told on you. Mm -hmm. You, this how you come in the game. How you gonna backdoor niggas like that, man? Mm. You know what I mean? Niggas in jail love that fucking record, man. You know what I mean? Niggas across the world done been through some pain, done been through some hard times, done been through all types of injustice and they just love that song and you going backdoor niggas like that? Mm. Nigga, if you going backdoor niggas like that, and I respect Akon, man. I respect everything you did in the music industry, but that's nigga. If you going backdoor niggas like that, at least make the right record, nigga. Ain't no motherfucking, I'm locked up. You in there singing with a nigga. I'm locked up, they won't let me out. No, 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 nigga. Make the right song, nigga. I'm locked up, they gon' let me out. <laughs> Bitch, they letting you the fuck out. Cause you told on the nigga. The fuck you mean I'm locked up, they won't let me out. No, they, they letting you the fuck out. Um, so change the fuck out. I'm locked up, they gon' let me out. Cause I'm running my mouth. I'm locked <laughs> up, they gon' let me out. Oh, cause I'm running my mouth. Real fuck shit. is wrong with you, man? How do you think Styles P feel? Like, I, I bet my life to a suitcase full of shit. They can't get Styles P to rap on that motherfucking version. I'm fucking. The type of shit you want, Akon? That's P the ghost to Takashi, nigga. No, they don't even. They don't even they, oh, we can't say the name. Fuck you. Like really? Fuck you gonna do some shit like that, man? That's an old Negro felon spirit. Do you think? Do you think the uh, you know the publishing ruin? Man, like you know, no, the, the no, money no, that somebody that. gonna get. Super it don't even matter. He don't need no morals. money, man. Yeah. All money ain't good money. All that money nigga don't need no money, money. man. That nigga, that nigga buying schools and all types of yeah. shit in Africa. He done built the whole fucking Africa. He don't need no fucking money. I feel like that's an old nigga missing the light, man. Yeah. You know when these old niggas ain't they so used to being in the limelight, man, when they don't get that limelight no more, man, they do anything to grasp on to that attention, man. So you saying big dudes is already up there, they be cloud chasing too? Look at shit. Fucking they some right. of them. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. To stay relevant because let me, they let me tell you something. from the bottom. Let me tell you something. Most 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 rappers, most entertainers, most of them, they don't really get into the game for the money. Mm -hmm. They get in the game because they love this shit. The money just come with it. Now, do they are they trying to make money? Yes, they is because a lot of them trying to change their circumstances. But it's the fact that you love this shit is what got you into this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So when you get that the ultimate high, you hit that stage, you stand there, them bitches going <laughs> ah, bitches falling out, niggas looking at you. Yeah. 
You fiend for that high. It's like a cocaine high, man. Never high. You never knew that. Shit, nigga, fuck is wrong. You never well, was that fucking I big. Say you know that you bum I ass fuck nigga. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I used to come out the house, nigga, and, and, and the kids and shit used to chase me down the street, nigga. Just because you was locked up. Just because you was locked up and you ain't seen it. Just because you was locked up laying on the lawn with Sean. You act like you you act like Just because you was up there laying on the lawn with Sean. Baby and, was a and star. And Pippin, Ricky Minaj, and Beyonce. Baby was a star. Wallo, Fuck Gilly, wrong with you. I feel like Gilly can say that, but you didn't have that. She was one of them bitches chasing me. <laughs> See, you ain't nothing but a Boy fucking groupie, Mona. No, Number she one, was, she you was a fucking groupie. No. You was a groupie. Oh, you was damn, a fucking groupie. I was a huge she, major no, figure. No, right, thing. she was chasing a nigga down the street. You was a groupie. You was a groupie. He wasn't my favorite figure. He wasn't my favorite figure. And if you was in jail, you'd be running karaoke night in jail. He wasn't my favorite figure. You'd be fucking running karaoke night. If you was the fucking jail. Let me just tell you something. You fucking nut. They told me you was the. I have something to say. First of all, they told me you was king of karaoke, nigga. No, you would have been fucking karaoke night They told me. They told me. Me, your biggest hit was yeah. It's Raining Man. Could, Hallelujah. Like, you agree with me that this is about the D League rapper? Yeah, he was a yeah. D League rapper. The fuck, is the you, fuck you talking about? You knew. Like, you you he was the CEO of Major League. I'm not taking first, up for him. For, first of all, First of all, let this me just say something. This is the CEO of Major First of all, let me just say something. Just because you Fuck was a three-time state champion in a talent show, bitch. I was a one-time. Don't be hating on me. I only, I only bitch, you was a three-time state you champion, nigga. Show, right? I did Blame yeah. It on the Rain, Millie Vanilli. I did yeah. it one time. And, and you lied about no, when you said that I did well, it hey, because I had a certain amount of time. You, you, only did, you only did Blame It on the Rain. I don't never see this. No, 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 no. I did Blame It on the Rain. And you did Whitney Houston, bitch, bodyguard, bitch. No, I did. Yes, you were, bitch. Two other times that I won is because nobody nobody. You lying ass nigga. Why the fuck are you in prison going R and B at the talent right. show? I don't understand no, no, that. Wrong, really. no, it was, it was, other niggas doing DMX, you picking R and B. I don't right. get it. No, Cause no, he was I singing to niggas. That. He was all in there. And I, 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 I did not do bodyguard. <laughs> I didn't do bodyguard. <laughs> I didn't do bodyguard. Listen, I feel like Gilly head. is not the one to say that about um, <coughs> people that are chasing that clout because. You reinvented yourself so many times. You've been, you was able I'm to stay. I'm the reinventor. You were able, on some real shit, some serious I'm the shit. Re-inventor. No dicky, because in Philadelphia, I was dicky. Groovy to, have a, to have a career a in the entertainment alert. game and to go away and come back once is, is big. You did that three times. Mona, you, no, you I did it four times. Groovy, Mona. You did it three times. Uh, no, no, no. Times. She's just talking what it is. That's you the wasn't truth. You, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No, no, no. You wasn't on the streets. Let me say what I'm saying. God damn it. Let me just tell you something. You wasn't on the streets to get these streets. I don't even like you him. Me? You you was in jail. You know what I mean. Giving up the tail. You if you was in jail, you'd be between hear the sheets. Me out. <laughs> no dicky involved Keith. in the entertainment game. You know that that once niggas go, they going. So for you to go and then come back and then go and then come back, you like a fucking infection. Groupie I'm a alert. fucking goat. Groupie alert. Uh, yeah. That's groupie, just keeping it a bean. Association of America. That's president. keeping it a bean. And then, Mona, and on the flip side, you, could, you came back organically through Instagram. Million dollars worth of games. Something that you've been saying it. for years. To come back with a person like that on a remix, Akon, you should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you. You try shame that. on a nigga who tried to run game and we're on not a nigga. with it we're not listening Rest we're not peace, streaming ODB. it we don't fucking like it akon answer us take the nigga off take him off no we don't just make the right song i'm locked up they gonna let me out or that because that's the truth he knew he was getting out he knew he had a date because he fucking told uh, hey, hey, hold on let me just say this what too. the fuck let me just say this too i think i just seen some shit on instagram too with fucking nikki too i think nikki nikki Watch out, Nikki the barbs. Did what? Watch out, the I barbs. Think, I think I don't give a fuck about Tread no barbs. Tread lightly, the barbs. I don't give a fuck the about no barbs. The bitches are snipers in this motherfucker. No I don't give a fuck about nothing. He don't care about barbs or carbs. I'm hollering at Ryan. Fuck rhymed. is wrong with you? <laughs> Nikki, I look like, I don't know. I just seen a picture with him and Nikki on on, 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 on Nick Graham. I'm like, damn, Nick. So she said it's for bell reform. It's to get bell, get rid of bell. Let me tell you, well, you get with fucking Meek Mills to do that. Okay, bitch. All right. You don't Ooh. be getting with no fucking Takashi for the fucking That was bail spicy, reforms. you. That ain't you get with fucking Meek Mills to do any type of fucking reforms that got to do with prison. <laughs> right. Real shit, though. Like, not wrong. him, don't, baby. Don't be, not Nick, him. Nick, come on, Nick. And you know you don't need it, you bitch. You know, uh, we got plenty years in, 20 plus. How long I'll you want to be at the you. top, bitch? A million years? <laughs> All right. Don't fucking do that, Nick. <laughs> Dude, you use a fucking groupie, man. Don't do that, right. Wilder. Let's get into our groupie. next uh, sponsor. Groupie alert. <laughs> our next sponsor is ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN basically 
it hides every all of your information. All, in, all the crazy stuff that you be Freaky looking at. Shit. Right. So if you go online and you whatever app you go to, whatever sites you go to, whatever it it basically it it protects all of your information. Yeah, like pop, you know what I mean. See, the, one thing that pop see pop tracks like that, John, because like pop he like to live <laughs> you know, he like to look at workout videos. Like you know, when dudes are like wear speedos old up, yeah. you don't want nobody to track girls. You don't want nobody like that. Right. You was working, you was looking at old right. men work out. Uh, 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 all that dumb shit. So. He, he because you know, pop. You know, you know, we don't judge. You, you know, want all this stuff up and work pop, out. In the you know, studio pop is a little spicy. You know, he be he be pulling up videos, <laughs> Cheetos, pop. Cheetos nice and speedos. You yeah, feel what I'm shit. saying? Shit <laughs> Cheetos and speedos. You see this? This how I want to be. I'm gonna have my shit like him. See, he holding, he packing. But Express VPN protects pop from anybody Yo, seeing it where he's going through on his phone so his you know life. as soon as i told him about express vpn wow. he jumped right on it but it doesn't matter if you get your internet from verizon or comcast you know what i'm saying your isp in the u.s can legally sell your information to to ad companies so you want to protect it through express vpn it's an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your isp can't be seen on any type of sites. It also keeps all of your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryptions available. Most of the time, you know, Pop didn't even realize he had ExpressVPN <laughs> on because it runs seamlessly in the background and it's so easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and, and you're protected, right, Pop? See, he's laughing, but he knows I'm all, telling the truth. All the bodies. It's available on all your devices, <laughs> phones, computers, Body even your com. smart Mama TV. Shit. So there's no excuses for you not to be using ExpressVPN. And the truth is, I got ExpressVPN, too. Yeah, I know what My you wife set it up for, on all our devices. Kind of threw me off. I'm like, oh, she why? Measurement.com. Yeah, first. first, so. He be yeah. looking at measurement.com. Right, measurement.com. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Protect your online activity today with... The VPN rated number one by C C N E T and Wired. Visit my exclusive link, expressvpn.com backslash millions. That's expressvpn.com backslash millions, and you get an extra three months free on a one year package. Let's get into hey man, George Floyd was laid to rest, man. Mm. Gold casket. Gold peace, bro. casket. Beautiful service. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. George Floyd being laid to rest in, in a gold casket, that was that was a king's send off. That was a king send off. Mm -hmm. Like that shit was like that was like I commend. I think did Floyd pay for that? I think Floyd Mayweather paid for it. I don't know who paid for it. We know. I think somebody I think I've read somewhere that Floyd, Floyd Mayweather That's might have paid for Floyd. the uh funeral. But if he did, shout out to Floyd Mayweather, man, because you sent the king off like a king. Um he had a twenty four or oh, fourteen carat gold, one or the other casket. That's unbelievable. Yeah, big. He a big guy too. So that's expensive. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm just gonna say this. Please keep where Big Brother Floyd is buried. BBF, rest in peace. Keep that a secret because niggas will dig that oh, twenty four, that fourteen carat gold <laughs> casket the fuck up. I'm telling you, you got that's some. That's definitely a hustle, though. That's a fucking it's hustle. A grave I'm gonna digger. keep it all the way real. Niggas yeah. will dig that motherfucker. Yeah, up. Take your watch off your wrist. Yeah, dude. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta shit. Don't watch him. That's a whole twenty four carat gold, fourteen carat gold casket. Yeah. You get, you gotta, you gotta let we beat with Big Brother Floyd Barry that we gotta keep that shit a secret, man. Because you got some slimy niggas out here. Niggas be trying to come up. Yeah. They'll be trying to dig Big Brother Floyd <laughs> casket up for, 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 for four days out that motherfucker. Hey, let's get into uh, let's get into me and Osworth for game. Me me I gotta go on my me 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 and Osworth me 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 me. So this guy says this is a bad time when all this shit's going on, but big homie, I got problem. I'm just finding out my. My girlfriend of two years has been catching bodies left and right. Damn. What? And just now telling me she's proud of letting random dudes fuck raw just for smoking her out. And she got <laughs> an OnlyFans page selling pussy. <laughs> now, my question is, should I put her shit on blast oh or just God. let that shit be? I know with everything going on, this is bad timing, but it hurts my heart more than anything. Yo, Your heart? He's picture on his page. No, he do got it. 
He is tender. He said, it hurts my heart more than anything. Not to mention, she had two abortions the whole time she was with me by two randoms. And the first one I was thinking was mine's had talks with my moms and grandmoms about being a father. Then this bitch flaunts that I wasn't the father. Should I put her on blast or just let shit be? Is he fucking serious? Yeah, he's dead serious. Put what her on mean? blast for what? what put put her on blast to who? Go ahead, you answer this one then. Answer. Um, you're Please. a fucking sucker. The fuck? What else? What else? That's it. Look in the mirror and point and say, I'm a fucking sucker. Because she wanted to be a Because a lady she's of the night. telling you that she takes dicks raw when you're at fucking Home Depot doing a double. Get rid of her. Simple. On blast for what? But that's the problem with you young motherfuckers. You want to put everything How on you know Twitter. He I, he, that ain't nobody over 25. But what I'm saying 90 is. 90 babies. Uh, what slow. I'm saying is, it's, it's hard to take losses like that, though. You, you already taken a loss. She's giving you a Okay, cat okay, away. okay, okay, cool. Okay, what if you got a nigga, right? He just an all around good dude. He go to work. He ain't with none of the bullshit. N don't even look at other bitches like that. Looking out for a bitch. I'm talking he there for a bitch, and then the bitch just do shit like this. He's hurt, Demona. How the fuck is he hurt when she tells, she's honest enough to say shit like, oh, that wasn't even your okay, baby, okay, nigga. Okay, 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 so, okay. She's honest. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So if April, you, yeah, April sitting there and she said, yeah, I fucked my ex nigga yesterday. Yeah, I fucked him raw too. Yeah, I bumped into him when I was in Baltimore. <laughs> I don't even know how I go that far. I wouldn't I, I, even go that far. I'm just saying. Well, what I'm saying is, out. what I'm saying is, you not gonna be hurt. Yeah, anybody be hurt. That's human right. shit. See, see, see. see. Let, let me just say this. It's that your fake. fault. It's your fault. The reason what you know what this whole thing is, everybody, women. This nigga puts pressure on him. That man is fine with having a hoe. He happy. This motherfucker talk about hoes and shit. And if the bitch, if you can fuck my bitch, you can keep her. You roll up with the tit tub, you fucking my bitch. Now he putting pressure on these soft ass niggas. That's okay with fucking. No, I'm not, I'm not putting pressure. I'm just telling niggas my story. And I'm just showing niggas how a real G out here performs. You quote unquote as fuck is saying, wrong with you. You influencing these motherfuckers. No, the I am way. supposed to influence these niggas. That, Keep that, paying them bills. I'm, She's I'm, a whore. You I'm, like it. She I'm nasty. influence these niggas to have some she nuts. nasty at night, ain't she? I'm he ain't gonna be nasty at night. Don't listen to this motherfucker. I'm influencing niggas that has some nuts. <laughs> listen. Stop being a whole hoe out here, man. This man gonna give you advice and go home to his beautiful wife and family. That bitch nasty. She lick you places don't nobody know. You happy. Delete your social medias and date that whore in peace. <laughs> I mean, listen. Ain't let me nothing tell you like something. a hoe at home. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. No, every man wanna... See, that's the problem. She's not <laughs> a hoe at home. home. She's a hoe on the road. <laughs> every man want a hoe in his bedroom and a lady in public. Out of, no, right, but listen. this bitch is just an ultra whore everywhere. But out of 100%, out of 100%, as y'all use the word whore, you know what I mean? I don't believe in that word. That's another thing. As y'all use mean? that word. Well, listen, I was a feminist. I love it. Listen, as you Wallow's as, a nut ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> fucked up. Wallow was a whore That's in a prison. That's a sound Stop saying that shit, man. You got young boys be asking you. Wallow, what you was doing in the joint? Well, you, they be yeah, big dog. Yeah, I be in the corner store. I just they want to know. What's up with Ricky? What the fuck did you ask me that? Young boy, I'm getting the, I'm I'm the store. I blame Gilly for this whole thing. But I'm going to say this. Let me ask you a question. Out of 100%, right? If it's 100 dudes, right? How many dudes, because you know they say the whores get married like. Yes. How many dudes will marry a whore? 78 of them. This nigga gonna say 65. I knew it's got to be close to mine. Price is right. This because nigga. 65% of the niggas would have, 65% of the niggas don't. They, let me tell you something. They don't do the investigation to find out the if a facts. bitch is a whore or not. They don't, check the they don't care. Let me tell you something. You got niggas out here that they see a pretty face and they just think that. That's my wife. Okay, they'll see a girl. They'll see a girl who's not as pretty and they'll be a whole different. They're, they're aggressive. Yeah, what's up? Stop playing. But they see a girl that's pretty and they be. The nigga give his real name up. What's your name? <laughs> Jamal. My name Jamal. Damn, dog. I thought, JJ, I you, thought you was Izzy, nigga. I thought you was Izzy. Izzy Two Guns. You you Izzy out here. Izzy two a guns. bitch so bad, you give a bitch your real name, Jamal. And another thing, Harris. stop giving your name nicknames. Stop giving your name these crazy ass catch a case nicknames and you ain't about that shit. And even if you're about that shit, why is you telling on yourself? Facts, My name I agree. Shoot, shoot you three times if you say something. Yes. Why would that be your name if you really shoot somebody three times if they say something? 
My name is. I don't Hitch understand shit. this shit. Stop giving your name all these criminating fucking names. You giving yourself a name. Yeah, they call me uh hitting in the glove to, uh gun two guns in the glove department. I'm the shooter. At, I'm the Gun, shooter. Drugs under my seat. That's dudes be having crime <laughs> names. I know. Like it's stop true. that dumb shit. I know. Yes. Keep having crime names and shit. I know, but baby forty five. And and you really the, got a baby forty five. Really right, got the baby forty five. Uh, all his seat. videos, he got a little ass forty five. He like this. Reggie put you. Can we you please really push get Reggie? to the bottom of that? Why do y'all record yourselves with illegal weapons and illegal drugs? Why? That's for you to answer below, <laughs> and we'll talk about it next week. You fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, niggas love whores, man. For sure. I'm thinking about becoming a whore for it, that. Let me just tell you something. Just like women. They love ain't shit niggas. I wrote a book. I read, I read a Not book true. in jail. It is. Let stories. me tell, tell you something. Women, a woman, a get with a nigga, and she know the nigga ain't shit. She know the nigga got a gang of bitches. Let's keep it real. Because if it wasn't like that, then women would be like, nah, I don't like him. He got too he many bitches. He ain't got nothing bitches. going on. He, he got too many bitches. No, no, the women don't say that. No, they, they be like, he get all the bitches and they be attracted to a nigga too because he get all the bitches. Idris Alba. I love you. <laughs> right. I love you, Idris. Right. Because 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 no because no. in you know in in women's Watch. standards, <laughs> Idris Alba's a looker, right? He's very handsome. All right, so Idris Alba, get your pussy. You don't even know him. He just had Corona and everything. Give you Corona and everything. You die tomorrow. You don't even fucking know just because. And he's a looker, right? Ever to get Corona and die the next day. Oh, what if what if I'm Idris Alba? Idris. What if a nigga like Idris Alba wasn't shit though? The reason why women date men that aren't shit is because women date with we see your potential. And the truth is, it's men that weren't shit that met a woman. That rib and that was that backbone, you know. And he can't, he became See, something. I ain't, That's I ain't a basing, fact. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't basing my relationship off a of bitch that got potential. I agree, you shouldn't. Oh, you got potential but not to be do. a whore. But We're you nurturers. Go, We're you, mothers. You got potential not to be a whore. I'ma wait it out. No, the fuck out of here. Maybe if a bitch got potential, but business wise, no. But oh, I know he ain't shit, but he got the potential. He got potential to be a good man one day. You know that's what I call y'all? That's what they say. Super see. goofy ass bitches. That's what <laughs> oh I call y'all. Everybody. So you don't want what you you don't want what you need. You want what you want. Right. It's a difference. This nigga that walked up on you in the supermarket with them wrinkle free cotton dockers on, he could have treated you like a queen. Would have never had to worry about going through his Instagram, looking on his phone, none of that. But he had wrinkle free cotton dockers on. I will say this you're right about one thing. No, you wanted the nigga. The look is the hook. You wanted the nigga with the Louis belt on with his jeans slightly sagging just a little bit so you can see his drawers. He got the rolly on. He got the big ass, stupid ass sneaks. Like the watch. Like the watch. The sneaks don't matter. Either way, I will agree with this one point, this one little tiny fucking point. I will agree on this. Women will date because of what other women do. So it could be a man, a bitch never pay him a, a peace of mind. He gets with a certain woman like me. She'll assume, oh, he must be doing this for her. He must be doing that for her. Anything that's positive attached with me, he'll assume I got it from him, and then she'll attack him. A bitch could raise your stocks. You date the right bitch, all the bitches be trying to fuck you. Hmm. It's uh, true. No, no, and a no, man, no. too. A, a nigga could raise a bitch stocks. Duh. Fuck you, Tubby. You see what fucking Kanye did to Amber Rose? Oh, no, you didn't say that. No, he did. He raised her stocks. He paid her a million dollars to never talk about what went on in that It don't even matter, but let me just say something. Okay, okay. Legendary. Okay, okay. Legendary hold on. Shit. Prime example. Amber. Prime example. Uh, the little shorty from Camden that fuck with 50 Cent. Okay. He raised her stocks. You fuck with 50. Mm. This nigga doing real shit out here. She was gorgeous and she had a business. I'm not saying. <laughs> He's pissed. If you gorgeous <laughs> and you got pain. a business, <laughs> I like that. If you gorgeous <laughs> and you got a business, and your business make, that's just a two hundred thousand dollars a year. That's pretty good. But then you start fucking with a nigga who make that in a minute, in three days. Minute. Wow, fifty. You, he might make two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a phone call. Your stock is raised. 
Wow. That's all I'm saying. I'm not taking nothing away from any nigga that mess with a girl and his stock get raised. Any 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 girl that mess with a guy and her stock get raised. I'm just saying the 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 stocks was raised. All right. I'll give you that. Like you fucking with us, your stocks is raised. No, he didn't. Oh, I'm just saying. No, he you didn't. Think so? You think I stock I came raised. with my cousins. Where y'all at? I love y'all. I beat your cousin the fuck up. My uh, cousins. Those are my supporters. Oh, I don't say oh, fans. I thought you were talking about your cousin over there. I call there. them cousins because oh. <laughs> I would still fight them. Like even though they're fans, I love them. I would still punch on them if I had to. I don't like the word fans. You know what I mean? I don't like fans either. It's like when you family, like right. Like I feel like we get that family vibe. I might get closer, but I would punch on you with the quickness. I you punch on who? I put blood in your mouth fast. Boop, boop. Oh, I can't wait be, till our first that fight. That must be some real live vicious Delaware shit. <laughs> she talking about she had, she had put fucking hands on me. Cherry fucking, water ice. Fucking she talking about love. I'm talking uh, about Thanksgiving punching on you. You punch on me, Tootie will whoop your ass. Oh, I, I take Tootie. I remember Tootie. Oh, okay. I like Tootie though. Hey, Tootie likes hey let me ask you a question. Let's get into uh, <laughs> stories from the cell. Stories from the cell is brought to you by Gilly, a.k.a. the block runner. AKA the, fuck? the cell cleaner, <laughs> Gilly. But uh, as I was saying is this, it's this thing going on in the streets. It's, it's two sides of the, two sides. And uh, it was a show that came on when I was in prison. It only happened inside of the prison. And it's called When the Bitch Come Out. There's a whole different show that nobody see on this side. Like a lot of you people in the real world, y'all never see this movie or this, this TV show. It's a show that play in every, all of the prison systems across America that I can speak of because many people I know in different prisons, they also saw this show. When the bitch come out is when, after you finish shooting the block up, after you finish being a real nigga, after you got all the tattoos, after you terrorize your fucking neighborhood, after all the tough shit, that, all the Instagram posts, all the slides, all the, you know, the ops, you know, smoking, all that shit, when you, you roll down on the ops, all that shit, when all that shit over, that's when the TV show called, when the bitch come out. Now, it starts in the courtroom. Mm. You know, you shot the block up, you did all this shit. You see what I'm saying? You had this big ass gun on you. you. It costs too much to be a criminal, meaning the money that it takes to be a criminal, you'll never get in your fucking life in the street game. Mm. Because you gotta pay a lot of lawyers, you gotta pay a lot of people off. Like you gotta take care of a lot of shit, a lot of commissary, a lot of shit, right, that you can't afford. So that's why I tell dudes it costs too much to be a criminal. Now, the bitch come out when the, the judge tell you that you got 10 to 20 seven times. Mm. And it's ran consecutive. Mm. 10 to 20 for this, 10 to 20 for that, mm. 20, 10, 10 to 20, 10 to 20, 10 to 20, consecutive, 10 to 20. And at the end of the, the joint, because majority of people, they, they don't have education, so they probably can't count and understand, and they don't mm. understand the, the, the legal lingo. It's a whole yes. different language. It's a whole different language in the legal world than it is in the regular world, even if you is, you know, we I mean, got it together. And your lawyer, say, uh, did they get any paperwork together, they just had to send you, yeah. You gonna yeah. be hearing from me, and, you, and now you realize, you like, what what did they just give me? Like what happened? She like, oh no, this is, you okay? No, they just no, it's it's just procedural. I'll I'll, I'll get it on the pill. Don't even worry about it. I'm and you come sitting over there, there the whole time. They like this. They they packing their briefcase up, and you like, and they ready to cuff. You like, yo, what's going on? Like like how much time I gave you? And then your mom back there crying. Oh, my baby ain't never hurt nobody. Oh, mm. uh, excuse me, mom. Stop fucking lying. You know your baby was a. <laughs> you you've been. He was a demon. You've been found a gun in his fucking Ooh, crib. Oh, he was a demon. So, so shut up. You've been found a gun multiple times in his crib. You know what I mean? He said, my baby. He's crying. Your baby mom crying. And a lot, baby of, time, mom crying, and a lot of times they crying out of joy because they're like, damn, this nigga out the way now. Now I can fuck old head I'll Bob that been on my top for yes. a minute. He going to take care of me or anything and I ain't got to deal with this bullshit. I mean, oh, she's going to be ready to fuck your homie. That's another story. Wow. But the whole time the lawyer like this, oh, you're going to be all right. Listen, I'm going to follow what's name. We got this many days. Don't worry about it. It's just she always do that. Don't worry. You're like, no, but they, she said I had, like, how much time I got? I mean, you no, you got seven to 20. You got that uh, uh, consecutive. He told Thomas, man, but I don't know what I mean. So that mean I got to do uh, seven years? Like what I'm telling? No, that means you got 70 to 140 years. Mm -hmm. that, that's what that means. We gave you seven, 10 to 20s, ran consecutive, not concurrent. Concurrent, mm -hmm. if they ran concurrent, it'd be one 10 to 20. But being as though that it's ran consecutive, mm -hmm. you have 70 years in Pennsylvania. This is Pennsylvania. You got to do 70 years before you can see parole and you got to walk. 70 years off on, on parole. If you make parole in 70 years or if you live 70 years in prison. So you got a 70, but no, why, why did I get it? Because you shot in the store and it was 10 people in there 
and they giving you 10 charges to aggravate, even though you ain't shoot anybody, but it was the fact that it was that many people in there, just like if you go in the store and you rob a store and there's 15 people in there, there's like 15 different armed robbery charges, even though you ain't doing it, and they gonna run it consecutive, it depends on the jail, judge, some judges can run it together, but now that you got, mm. now that you got the 70 to 140 years, that's when the TV show come up. And this is mm. how the theme song go. When the bitch come out, it come out. Mm. When you least expect it. Mm. Bitch, bitch. When the bitch come out, you got that sentence and you didn't expect it. Mm. Mm. Then, then. When, when the, the bitch, bitch come out, out, you got that sentence. Now you is crying. Stop bitch. Uh, when, when the bitch come out, you're done. You're not going home. So this, that's, that's how the theme music played for the, for the TV show when the bitch come out. Now you bitching. Now you bitching. You was tough. You was a demon. You was running around. My bros, you had the big gun on you. You was shooting motherfuckers broad daylight. You see what I'm saying? You just now didn't give a fuck. Now you're BRR bitching at a rapid rate. I'm rig. saying you just really didn't give a fuck. So now the music play. When, when the, the bitch, bitch come, come out. out. And so now you, <laughs> oh you're bitching. God. And I've seen it in many courtrooms. I've seen, you know what I mean, dudes? I was, I done sat in, I done sat in a holding cage and they come back. And the motherfucker be walking up the air, man. I picked 12. I got him. I'm going to beat him. See me. Everybody know me in the, in the system. I was the dude that, no, I'm I'm taking open plea. I'm pleading guilty. Mercy of the court. Yeah, I done it. Y'all know I don't want to waste your fucking time. Come on, man. Oh, like, give give me my time. Let me get the fuck out of here. Because I ain't, I, I don't, and, I, and I said, I don't want to waste the taxpayer time. Because oh, I done my shit. Mm -hmm. All my shit, I know I done my shit. So I'm like, let me just get this shit over with so I can get back to the streets. But let me ask you a question. Did you have a, have a time when the bitch come out? Yeah, there was plenty of times that I've been been back, you know, because I took open pleas a lot sometimes. And an open plea is where you just say, I'm guilty, mercy of the court, and you hoping that the judge sentence Show you. Show you mercy. They, they sentence you, give you mercy, but you don't know. It ain't no guarantee what you're getting. Your, your lawyer gonna be telling you public, if you, especially if you got a public pretender, I mean, public public defender, or they tell you, pretender, whatever, the fuck they, they, telling you, they telling you uh, whatever it may be, but I'm gonna say this. One thing that's different between having a private lawyer and a public defender, a lot of public defenders, I've seen them beat a lot of cases. And when I was in jail, I've seen them overturn a lot of, shout out to the Philadelphia Public Defenders Association. I've seen them overturn a lot of life sentences. And Steve, mm -hmm. they overturned my brother, uh, said he didn't have a life sentence, but they overturned his system. Because in the public defenders, it's different from you having a regular lawyer. The right. public defender got hundreds. They're one of the biggest law firms in the country. It's actually a law firm of, it just worked for the public. Mm -hmm. But they're right. big. But uh, so... When 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 uh when the bitch come out one time that the music played on me and I was a part I seen that show I was I was behind I was waiting in the holding cell and I was ready to get sentenced and uh it was a moment where you know you just be sitting back and the bitch come out and you just say it to yourself like <laughs> did you hear the music just see what the music say it was when sadder. the bitch come out I think and, it should be sadder and, and, and like no no that was no it was it was deep and I was just bitching like oh man I can't believe this man. You know, you be you you know, it, that's the moment where you be praying to all the guys, you be talking to the guys, I tell you, you give me another chance, I'm gonna get I'll my life together. I'm never gonna do it again. You know, you know what? I I know what you told me, man. And I, I'm ready to listen. <laughs> I'm ready to surrender <laughs> my life. <laughs> listen, you be in the back, I'm ready. But you talking cool, cause you know right. when you're street you talk cool to God. Mm -hmm. Listen, God, I'm ready to surrender my life to you, man. I'm just tired of this. I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this, man. That that's the shit that people say on the phone too, they, baby mom. No, I'm done. I ain't fucking with niggas no more. Mm -hmm. It's about us. Uh -huh. Me and you against the world. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be in the jail call. Yeah, when the bitch come out. <laughs> and the whole time. Cause you know, you, you didn't hear about what's the name. You, you don't want to, you know, you tell her, just hold it down, man. I'm gonna be home in a minute. You see what I'm saying? That's the part too when the bitch come out. When you start, when you when you know, damn. Let me ask you a question: How many niggas go to jail and lie about how much time they got to a bitch? Nah, I'll be home All three to six. I'll be I'm home not three gonna, to six. I'm, not, I'm, I'm a jail yeah, boy, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna you co-sign it. I'm not gonna comment on that. You, you gotta ask me. Liar, I'm bitch, not you lied. You lied like a motherfucker. You lied to old I'm head your whole bit. Oh, I got two more years left. I, I bet this. You do two years. You know how much time I had on you. Well then, what the fuck I lied? I ain't lied. No, 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 always want to pop up. Yeah, you like, don't you lie to me, you lie to the bitches. What is that for? Is you trying to catch us? I feel like every nigga they I've ever had lied about the release date. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's no, always you know like a surprise. It'd be like, no, it don't really be a surprise. Like my side niggas It'd be like, it'd be like a motherfucker just need a good six to 12 months out of you. If I could get that, that'd lead me to the next piece. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, she not going to hold it down. She going to run. Ain't nobody listen. We hate that. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you young boys something. Young boys, listen to me right now. When the bitch come no, out. No, no, I'm going to give you some game. In the 90s, in the 80s, your moms, your grandmas, some of your aunts. They was warriors. They was warriors on the prison team. <laughs> these women right now, these young girls, they're trying to go down Miami. They're trying to get lit. They're trying to be smoking hookah. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to be popping something. They're trying to be putting this drip on. They're not running up no fucking jails. No. They're not doing that. They're not, they're trying to listen. They're trying to get with the, get with the wave, man. They trying to be, listen, man. 
catch a bob. They ain't got time to be running up no fucking jails. So don't. So when you, if you go into jail, if you want some dumb shit, street shit, forget about your baby mom with the fat ass, bro. And remember one thing. Forget about her, man. It's when the bitch come out, the bitch come out, it's coming. As soon as that gavel hit that thingy thing, that when bitch the bitch come out, on oh, the county they getting it, they get it in in the fucking county. I'm saying as soon as the judge go, do you the not, bitch listen, is done listen, with you. Or some real shit. Do you know how many? Do you know how many dudes be in the parking lot and county jails all around the country taking your broad to come see you in jail, and they be waiting for the visit to come over, and even give them a little money so they get some snacks out of jail. They be waiting. You know how mm. many dudes be doing that? Oh yeah, you want to go see? I gotta go see my baby five. All right, come so on. So a nigga I'm get, just taking so, my daughter up there. So 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 a nigga bring your bitch up to see you up the up CFCF. Give us some money to get some snacks so he can go get her snacks. Yeah, yeah. afterwards. Right, uh-huh. after you be all in the kids. I'm going to get my family back. You taking your picture. Yo, to go see your bros. You go back to the block. Yeah, my bitch just came up, man. Yeah. Mm. I'm a daughter, man. We holding it down. Yeah, mine. She's a rider. No, she's in your little 40s, little 50s. You know what I mean? Boy, be looking out. Because sometimes on some real shit, a lot of you dudes, a lot of dudes is in jail. Shout out to the shout out to the boys that's holding it down. That boy that noticed in jail, he, he sent us to your baby father. Go ahead, man. Looking out for dudes, daughter buying your daughter, your son sneaks and shit. I know you don't want it to happen, but that's real, bro. It's real. So before you think wow. about going to jail, Wallow two six seven. I gave you the real spill. Wow. And, and you know, what how I mean? many niggas you seen get into a physical altercation in jail just because they bitch sucked the dick and they found out? And a lot of dudes because now you you they couldn't take it. You, you you looking for you, ah, you beef wrestling? This bitch sucked the dick. He stabbed you now in you, the back. Now, now you beef wrestling. You you looking for some beef? You hustling beef? What? Yeah. What? What you say? What? You all because his bitch sucked the dick. All be, you, why are you looking at the window like that, huh? Yeah. Don't look out that window. That's my window. Oh, bro. This is the, we on the block, man. <laughs> niggas just want to beef wrestle, man. <laughs> just Niggas just hustling beef all because yeah. his bitch hustling beef. And I want to say one thing. We're going to talk about friendship before I leave here. Before we leave. Young boys. If you out there and you activated in the streets, mm-hmm. and you from a certain neighborhood, and you know certain of your homies that you fuck with is not activated out here. Mm-hmm. When I'm talking about activated, I'm talking about putting that fucking work in. You move around with a pistol. You a street nigga. You already said, I'm, I'm dying the street nigga. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Wallow trying to talk. Wallow, yeah, I fuck with your old head. Yeah, I fuck with you more when you make me laugh, but I ain't fucking with you when you're telling me to stop and don't go to jail. I ain't fucking with you on that shit. Cool. This ain't for you. But I got to talk to you mm-hmm. because I want you to look out for the niggas that you say you love. Mm-hmm. And the niggas that you say you love is your homeboys. All your homeboys, the one that work at UPS, the one that be chilling. It's just that y'all grew the up the The one that's in college, he's a football player. In college, it's just that y'all, y'all be catching vibes again, whatever. At the end of the day, I want to say this something to you. Could you give him some space? Because you know you were running around, you running around here, you sliding, you moving out. You know what I'm saying? You getting at the ops and all that. You sliding could and you, gliding. Could you make sure he ain't on the set with y'all, man? Because I'm going to tell you, I'm just, that's real. Because you got to know how to separate yourself. And sometimes you got to tell, yo, bro, go down to you. Bro, going to school, he trying to go to college, he doing shit. Yo, bro, stay. No, nah, bro, this ain't for you. Right. Like you got to be straight up. But on right. the other end be of that, I feel homes. like if I am the guy that's in college and I am the dude that work in UPS, and even though I grew up with these dudes, how much of a necessity are they to my everyday life? But like some if people my lifestyle, you, you listen, only, listen, hear me out. If my moment. lifestyle, if my lifestyle is, I'm a dad. I work right. Why am I hanging with a shooter? It'll, Even if I love this man, that's how they be. I feel because like because I grew up with him. That's my man. Yeah, you could die hanging with a shooter. And to you women, if you don't, if you don't want to die, or you don't want to catch a case. Don't date a drug dealer. It, it, no matter how much he claims, he tries to separate you from that. At the end of the day, if somebody's on his ass, they on your ass. You'll die right in that passenger seat with that lip gloss on about some shit he going through. And it take a certain what type kind of lip gloss. Fenty. Okay. It takes a certain type of man to really try to separate you from that. I used to date street guys. I date street guys that they never told me any of their business. Brooklyn is a street nigga. No, he's not. He works. I don't date street niggas no more. That's old. You don't even date him no more. Let's not talk about that. Just, the point I'm bro, trying to make to you, young bitches. bragging about a nigga piece two weeks ago. Now you done. The, the dick is still you, amazing. Shout out to Flatbush and all the dicks in Flatbush. What I'm saying. Damn, that's a lot of happened? pieces. You, what happened? She he, just he, gave a shout out to a lot all of All the dicks. You Can I please whore. tell the young bitches how something? How you shout out 4,000, uh, how you shout out 1.45 million dicks? <laughs> because I just feel like that's the land of where the good dick came from. Like Damn. Jerusalem. Anyway, what I'm saying you that is, good, you think all the good dicks is going to throw Philly niggas now, out of the Now, if I would say shout out to North Philly, they'd be all for it. Shout out to all the North Philly and the dicks in North Philly, you yeah, motherfuckers. Okay, right, what I'm saying to you dirty, is, is that dirty dicks if in you North. are a girl, you know? if you are a woman, fuck you talk about. Fuck is you talk about. If you a woman 
and you and you got your shit going on. You done went to school. You done worked. You got this family. Do not date the street nigga for fun. You'll die like that. You'll get indicted like that. The feds indict you for spending drug dealer money. You go to jail for living that nice life with that drug dealer. It's, it's not worth it's what a girl, you've Mona. already earned. There's a girl right here that's looking right now. Hey, girl, you just listen. You like Mona. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. I'm trying to get lit. I'm trying to go down to Miami. I'm trying to get some Balenciagas. That's cool. I'm, try, I'm trying to be a vibe. I'm trying to smoke hookah. In when the, them feds the come, don't tell on him. Because he to, bought you shit. I'm don't to, tell on him. They ain't trying to hear that. They trying to go to the Airbnb down Miami or down Atlanta. So what happened when the feds a, come? They don't give a fuck about it. They just trying to take pictures for the gram and catch a vibe. They Dizzy don't give a fuck bitches. about none of that. I'm not going down for no loving nigga. When I was in the jail, I was in feds. I was in the feds with a lot of women that never sold a drug. They didn't know how to do shit. All they were was the girlfriend, and they went the fuck to jail for that. That's illegal, bitches. It's not worth it. You a fucking CNA, wipe that ass for that $15, because you don't got to look over your shoulder, mm. okay? So what type of dude should they date? I think you should date a person that's on the same vibe as you. So if you striving for this so positive lifestyle. So date somebody lifestyle, else's wiping ass? No. Oh. If you are living a positive lifestyle, and you don't feel like it's worth it, and you don't risk your, your freedom selling drugs, then don't date a nigga oh, that's selling hold drugs. Up, hold up, hold up. I never... The clear joint. That's look like some glass. Yes. What's up with them glass nails? I got glass tips. Through? Shout out to Lean Lean. What the fuck is that? I about? go to Juice 302. She was unavailable, so I got some glass tips just in case I had to scratch his eyes out. What you mean, glass tips? You got them out of the. You heard it. Walmart? Glass tips. Well, I was always from? amazed at my stuff. <laughs> New wig next episode. Get ready. And y'all stop stop talking so stupid in my damn. He could call me Black and Mild Queen. That's it. She's the queen of the mild. I'm big homie, that's big hoagie. Let me ask you a question, though, before we leave, because y'all know this. And, you know, a lot of people be, you know, I just want to know. If you have a baby by somebody, can you smash any time you want? I think that a lot of people think that, but no, you can't, nigga. Do it be, like, do it be happening, like... I mean, I think some men feel like they can fuck I think, their baby mom forever. I think probably sixty percent of men feel like they can fuck their baby mom. Do you forever. think you feel like you can fuck your baby I, mom? I haven't fucked my baby mom since fucking no. <laughs> No, I think a lot of people think that, and I really get confused by a lot of you bitches that fuck your baby dads, and then you get back on the internet complaining about how you don't take care of the kids. Like, why are you fucking him? You don't even take care of your children. That's dumb. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you bitches just want matching sets. You want all of them to be the Johnsons. Fuck that. Johnson, Smith, fucking Simpson, whatever. Keep trying till you get it right. Mm. Damn. How many baby fathers you got? Two. Mm. You got me a two-piece. Mm, and I want more children, so I might have three or what's four. You never know where this shit will take me. What, 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 what's their names? Deadbeat one and Deadbeat two. I oh, said it. Damn. No, no. If you no, say no, that, no, you no, slam the Let names. me say this. Let say me say this. Let me say this. Names, if they I thought really about it. I thought about it. About it. I'm, I'm bitching up a little bit. But I say this. I will say this. I feel like some of you niggas, as soon as you stop fucking her, you don't want to take care of the kids no more. You let your emotions about your relationship take So did your baby fathers do that? Um, I think so, yeah. I think so. I think so I'm in that group. just because they couldn't get no pussy, they don't take care of the kids. Just because we don't have that relationship, it's like, fuck So y'all. they don't take care of your kids? I don't feel as though. Do y'all, do, do it seem like a lot of people, they won't, if they're not in a relationship with their baby mom no more, they won't take care of the, the kids they have with their baby mom, but they go somewhere and take care of somebody else. Yes, they kids. will. They play stepfather. And it's sick, it's disgusting. It's like at the end of the day, you should know your kid's favorite snack. You should know what, what makes your kid itchy. And you don't. You niggas don't even know your child's favorite fucking Talk show. Him, but you Talk have a him. bunch of pictures. This ain't, posting this ain't giving out no game. This is her talking to her baby fathers. No, she this is me. To them niggas. Well, Go no, ahead. first of all, to my baby fathers, I would say fuck you, one, and then fuck you, two. Mm. And watch this glow up, bitch, because we on our way, me and them kids. Mm. But you to really everybody your else, dick though? like I saw you talk about, like, sometimes you had, like, you I feel had, like I yeah, got yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, straight. Sometimes backs. I feel like I got one. But serious, in some seriousness, you niggas doing them photo ops with these kids taking pictures and shit. That's like, come on, nobody believes you, bro. If I called you right now and say, "What's your child's favorite fruit snack?" You don't fucking know, which makes you a piece of shit, Bruce. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> no. What's the other one name? Chuck. I'll give you that one. Damn, fuck you, you the got most. Two niggas, you fuck old niggas, Bruce and <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> The fuck? I had those old as shit. Fucking old ass niggas, Brucey and Chuck. Them kids will be in private school. I hope you ain't named none of them. Kids. A I hope you ain't named none of them. Listen, 
I know you ain't sure. named none of them kids after them the old Bruce ass Chuck. niggas. No, Bruce my babies Chuck. are Charlie and Smush. That's Rashad. Chuck. That's Chuck is the same joint as Chuck. Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. I got a daughter named Amina. Her attribute is Amina. It's oh. Amina and Rashad, but we call Rashad Smush and we call Amina Charlie. Oh, well, shout out to Amina and Charlie. Yes. Smush. Uncle Gilly I mean, loves Smush you guys. Smush and Charlie. I got to give you their sizes, Smush Uncle Gilly. This is the uncle that buy the sneaks. Yeah, shout out to Smush and Charlie. Yeah. A lot better than fucking Bruce and Chuck. <laughs> Too old Shout out to all the single moms. Quarantine was rough. We almost making it through school. We'll be back in September. Them sticky, stanky, loud motherfuckers will be back out your house. Hey, listen, we want to thank y'all for tuning in each and every week. Yes. Making us the number one music podcast in the country. Listen, number one. go to barstoolsports.com. Get your merch, get your, get, merch, your merch. get your merch, get your merch, get your merch, get your merch. Listen, I think this is something we're going to do. And check out the new shirt. We got a new shirt called... We got the regular million dollars worth of game shirt, but we got a new shirt called Fuck Your Thoughts of Me. Ooh. Hey, this is what I think I'm, I want to do. I think I want to... When you when you buy your merch, please send a video and DM it to million dollars worth of game page of you buying your merch, of you in your merch, whatever you want to do. You could dance, you could be, you could just take a picture, send it to us. I'm going to show some love on the podcast. I'm going to pull up a bunch of people that's purchased that's the merch cool. and show some yeah. love to them on the podcast. I'm going to do it. We're going to do a merch segment. Wow. Let's get into this merch segment right here. Everybody that bought the merch and we're going to show everybody yeah. where they at in all the different cities where y'all yes. at. Yes, see your city. And, yeah, so. That's what's up. Appreciate y'all for tuning in each and every week. I just, I just made that Thanks, up on the guys. fly. But fuck it, that's something we doing. We love. showing this love to the people that show love This dude makes shit up on the fly. Isn't he talented? I go by the name of Gilly the King. And Wallow267. I'm Don't Call Me White Girl, God damn it. AKA Big Hoagie. And it's just like that. Right!